So guys, just another garden update. We got two freezes in a row. Um, one last night and then one the night before. So I picked all the tomatoes off of them. And these tomatoes, they'll turn red over time. Uh, just leave them in a bowl and kind of sort through them periodically. And the basil, I'm just going to pull off of the stems. We might make some pesto. I usually put them in water and um, let them soak until I decide what I'm going to do with them. I don't know. I'll probably use them for spring rolls, pesto, stir fries. Okay, guys. So this is how much basil I got out of those branches. And I'm just going to leave these in water. They'll last for a very long time in water, you know. They'll probably last like three or four days in water. And I'm probably going to make pesto out of the these leaves. It wasn't hard to pull those out. I just clipped a lot of the seeds off of them. And this is my harvest for the winter. Let me show you what survived and what didn't. So these are basically summer crops, the ones that didn't survive. My orange peppers didn't make it. The leaves withered and that was it mint made it and it's reviving since my trip it this all dried up I don't know why it got water maybe it got too much water I don't know but my mint is coming back to life and the frost did not affect it at all neither did the garlic the garlic didn't get affected at all this broccoli I'm just kind of letting it I don't know I should, probably shouldn't because it's going to attract bugs now my peas made it. That is so weird. The peas made it. And they're actually flowering and the flowers made it through the frost. So we might be having peas for winter. But my beans didn't make it. They don't like cold weather. So beans are definitely out, especially these beans. These are just um, some snap beans. And they didn't make it celery this stuff doesn't die it, it lasts all winter so it made it through the frost here's some more beans that didn't make it and then i have lettuce growing in here lettuce will grow 365 days a year this stuff doesn't die i don't care how cold it gets lettuce makes it but my squash grows. So no more squash, guys. Those flowers are definitely affected. So no squash. And my ginger barely made it. I'm gonna clip this down, this ginger down, just for these leaves, because I can make tea out of them. And the cilantro made it, guys. Look at how vibrant that color is. It's going strong, it loves cold weather. My raspberry made it, guys. It was screaming for help when I was gone and it was getting dehydrated. But look, it's reviving itself. There's a lot of green leaves and it survived the frost. Isn't that cool? I just gotta take some of these leaves off of here and compost them. And the blueberry made it. My blueberry plant made it. It's a different kind of color, but the frost didn't seem to affect it much. It does look like fall colors. It does still have a lot of life in it. I'm wondering if just the change of light has changed the color on this plant. And the strawberries, they made it. They're going strong nothing affected there and the sunflowers made it they weren't affected that much i think it's the sun the intensity of the sun that affects the sunflowers i finally chopped this asparagus and clipped it as close as i could and i have all these little bugs like this that nested in here, they were eating this plant. They look like ladybugs to me, but somebody told me they were beetles. So I'm not sure if these
these are ladybugs or not. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But I had to clip it down. So what I'm going to do is just put some leaves on top of here. And some dirt. So we'll probably be getting asparagus in, in the spring. Guys, I have carrots growing in here. They were not affected. There's a little lettuce there that I might transplant. But the, the carrots weren't affected at all. And that's all I have in this row. There's just some marigolds. Let's see if the okra was affected. Not really. I mean, it's not growing like the summertime, but there is a little bit of fruit on them. So we'll see what happens with this okra. Wasn't affected by the frost, so you can grow okra in the wintertime. And the Veronica plant is not affected, and it looks like it's going to stand through the winter. I might put this in a, its own tub and see what happens. I think this is something that you can harvest. Look, there's even fruit on there. So let's put this in another container. I'm going to do that sometime this week. It's supposed to be nice. I have two plants. So I think they'll do good if I put them in a bigger container. And this broccoli is seeding out. So guys, I'm going to clip this broccoli. It's seeding, it's flowering. And it has some weirdness going on in it. So I'm just going to clip it down and see how it's like some kind of flakes or something on it. So I'm going to clip this down and see what we get. And we're going to keep watering it in the winter. Broccoli grows really good in cool weather. It didn't freeze. So let's see what happens with this. Okay, guys, so let's just clip this broccoli down and see what happens with it. I'm just going to clip all of the this flowering off. And we'll see if more grows back. Because this is kind of not edible. There are seeds on it, but it just looks weird. So let's just clip this down. And then we'll see what happens if it grows back. Just an experiment, guys. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'll keep you posted. We'll do some garden updates anytime I see um, changes in the garden. Okay, guys, so I clipped it down. This doesn't look edible. So I'm just going to throw this in compost and see what happens. So, guys... I finally gave in and I bought some sod. You can buy them in these rolls. They're two feet by five feet. I bought these rolls at Just Sprinklers. Cool little place. I really enjoyed them. They were really friendly. They were the only ones that had some sod like that, that you could buy pieces like that. Fit perfect. So plush, look how plush this is. I finally just gave in. I know fall isn't when you're supposed to plant sod, but I did. And um, we'll see if it grows. Okay, guys, so that's my garden update. Um, I'm not doing them weekly, but I'm doing them when the garden changes or I see something interesting that I want to share. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.